Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well on this Toss-Up Tuesday. As always, I am Zaruk Windcaller, your guardian, your high remembrancer, and your arbiter. We've got a lot in store today. We are, of course, going to finish up Titanfall 2's story, I think. I mean, in all honesty, we should probably finish it. It's kind of short. Well, not too short, but I think we've made good progress in it. That aside, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, we'll talk more about what the schedule in the future is going to look like now that my job is going to be starting and a bunch of other stuff too, but we'll wait till the end of the stream for that. Uh, yeah, with that in mind, I hope you're all ready. Hello, Brawler. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hello, Eclipse. I know you're lurking. Uh, but yeah, let's waste no more time and get right to the game, shall we? I believe, yes, we're here at the beacon. We're basically starting the mission over because, well, that seems like the right thing to do in this case. Pilot Cooper, Anderson is dead, but we can complete his mission if we can reestablish contact with the fleet. The interstellar beacon ahead will serve our needs. And if we don't get over there in time? 40 million souls on the planet Harmony will be lost. We must get this information to SRS Commander Sarah Briggs. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. I'm picking up multiple contacts. Hey, Clara. Um, I didn't see it. Hostiles confirmed. The stalkers appear to be programmed to attack the control room. Caution. I detect traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. Transferring controls to pilot. What is this fog? Scanning. The ground fog is a toxic byproduct of the beacon power plant. I recommend you embark when operating in hazardous environments with greater than one ppm tungsten hexafluoride. Pilot, I'm detecting militia forces inside that beacon control room. They are signaling distress. Patching in. Forces. All threats have been eliminated. You saved our asses. Those stalkers just kept on coming. We may not have lasted much longer. We're opening the blast doors. Come on in. Pilot and Tiger on the lift. Court, bring them up. Let's go. Right away, sir. How's the volume, by the way? Can you guys hear it? Pilot, recommend you disembark. Captain, what is the status of the beacon? The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation, arc tool. Function, generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one in the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, I advise caution while navigating this facility substation. You must recover the arc tool. I thought if Demeter shut down the IMC wouldn't have reinforcements. Good luck, sir. Hope you make it back. We've lost too many down there. Good luck, pilot. All right. 
So, yes, we are. We did reset this mission, but that's mainly because, well, we're halfway through the game, and, you know, I felt like starting this one over. I have my Mastiff shotgun. All is right with the world. This place is run by machines. Not like there's an elevator around here. How's he gonna get through this place? Wish I could tell you what's down there, but whatever it is, we're hoping you can handle it. It's great to have a pilot with us again. Looks like we'll have a chance of getting out of here. Pretty sure it's dead, bud. Calm down. The last pilot in our unit went that way a few hours ago, but he never came back. Care pilot, I have patched into your helmet display to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. BT, what's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. BT, remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Whoop! Whoop! Ta-da! Piss off. Alright, let's be careful not to shoot the Marvins. We've already established that the Marvins are our friends. We're not going to hurt the Marvins. All right, I'm out of assault rifle ammo. Time for the shotgun. I have more assault rifle ammo, but I'm still going to use my shotgun. down here. How deep does this thing go? Scans reveal a maximum depth of 300 meters. What is this place? The station's computer details this location as the power grid for an IMC interstellar beacon. Yeah, maybe the jump kick can. I'm wondering if my legs can. Okay, buddy. We've been through the song and dance before. Sorry, bud. But I need this more than you. You have acquired the arc tool. Return to the control room. We are ready to jumpstart the system. Oh, yeah, relaxed movement. You're right.
Hey, you guys want to go for a ride? Unlimited power! Gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Woo! Oh, crap! everything Woo, where's my medal? Oh yeah, it does. It shocks enemies. Granted, it takes a lot of energy to like. St it won't stop the. It won't stop the normal specters, like the small ones. It, it'll stop them, but the bigger ones, like the armored ones, no. You'll only stun them. You have to shoot the. Uh, you have to shoot them. But the but the ones without extra armor, oh yeah, that'll fry their systems. Pilot's back, and that looks like an art tool to me. I think we just got our ticket off this dirt ball. Good work, Pilot Cooper. Now we can jumpstart the power to get the beacon functional. The cable is secure, Captain. Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time, too. The system's rewired. Now all we need is some power. Pilot, the power chamber relays are offline. The arc tool should be able to jumpstart them manually. Cooper, let's hope that arc tool was worth all the trouble. Caution. High radiation levels detected ahead. Your suit will only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. I wouldn't stay in there too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. The tunnel's full of microwaves. I have to do this. I'm sorry, I, I'm just reminding of the microwave tunnel in Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay, opening the hatch in three, two, one, go! Go! Offline. Not good. 
at the IMC are on their way. That is a reasonable assumption. McCord, can we bypass the module? No, sir. Not unless we want to send a message to the entire IMC fleet. Then the module is going to have to be repaired manually. Pilot, this situation could use your skills. I hope you're up for another trip to hell, Cooper. You'll need to repair the beacon on site and get back here as fast as possible. At this point, I've probably been through about eh, five, six levels of hell. What's the last three? Controls transfer to pilot. fallen pilot. My memory recalls this pilot as an exceptional fighter, proven well during the fracture operation. Fracture? Sounds familiar. My records indicate you received a concussion during fracture and suffered some memory loss. It was a major combat refueling operation, one of your first assignments as a rifleman. Damn. For those who don't know, Fracture takes place in the first Titanfall. My scans detect a functioning uplink targeting module, 428 meters northeast. My analysis indicates a throw is our only option here. I can throw you across the gap. Are you sure about this? There is a 68% chance of success. Okay. No risk, no reward. That sentiment is not 100% true. However, it does fit this current scenario. Wind, three knots, heading 274. Range, 95 meters. Projectile mass, 89 kilograms. Trust me. Yeet! Good throw. You're welcome, pilot. Good luck over there. Richter, this is Blisk. Yeah, here's Richter. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. End this. I'm counting on you. Blisk out. All security units, this is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the kleiner Mann and lass mich nicht hängen. Get to the beacon yeah, two, now! One, move in. Alpha 2, get soldiers on ground. Move in! Yeah, I don't speak I don't speak German neither, so I don't understand a thing that Richter's saying. IMC dropships headed to your location. Huh. Hmm. I'm curious if the arc tool works on people. Oh shit! <laughs> Gotta love the Mastiff! Good idea! Oh, it works alright! Sit down! It works. Good to know. Yeah, and it stuns them. Nice.
Oh, hi. Whoop. Ah, oh, shit. That was actually pretty smart on his part. He actually knocked me out of the area. That was actually pretty smart. Oh no, not this time. Alright, so an arc welder does not work on these things. Got it. It works on pilots, specters, and uh and the other stuff, but not on this guy. What about my rifle? Woo! Oh yeah, that straight up kills them. I don't have to execute them. That shock straight up kills them. I mean, that makes sense. You pump enough electricity into someone and their heart basically stops, so... Yeah, finishers are more fun. Come one, come all. There's plenty of electricity to go around. Oh shit, he disintegrated! I, I literally disintegrated him with electricity, what? Pretty sure that's not how that works, but ah, you, yeah, you can disintegrate him. He's gone. Wow! I literally turned him to. Re I reduced him to atoms. Wow. Yeah, we've already seen the fastball special. 
Got it. Nice. To move this back. Got it. Okay. Now we can make the jump. Ah, easy. I see. Now I'm thinking in 3D. Oh, you can move it all the way back? Okay, well, I don't need to do that. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do just fine. Well, that's what I get for trying to show off. About to say, Jack Cooper, a man so strong he can punch robots. Whoa, hello! Didn't know they could do that. Should have stayed down. We don't hurt the Marvins. Marvins are our friends. Outplane targeting module detected. Check your HUD. Zulu 1 6, Beacon 4 gantry team is KIA. Pilot may be attempting to transmit from there. Zulu 1 6, Director. The pilot's intentions are unknown. He may be attempting to draw us away from the Titan. Nine. 
focus on the pilot. I have other plans for the Titan. I have my own army. I can do what I want. Yeah, I just got the achievement robot army. Have more have six stalkers at once activated. Good. You were at the controls. Move the dish to the far right to bring it within your reach. Alpha 2 1, is he dead yet? Give me a citron. Over. Richter, we need backup. The enemy pilot is still active around Beacon 4. Over. Backup? Ever used this before? Ah, I see. Yeah, giblets. Go get him, boys. Pilot, the module is in the projector of that dish. Yeah. On it. Wait, I thought this was on a timer. Huh. All right. Ah, here's the tricky part. Anti-Titan squads have arrived, requesting assistance. Oops, wrong one. No, uh, uh, the time travel thing was destroyed. Ah, there it is. Wee. Uh oh. Activating. Double jump too soon. Yeah, it, it destroy. Um, it got destroyed. Which, to be honest, considering what happened to the last guy who was wearing it, that might have been for the best. We saw what happened when it, we saw what happened to him when it got damaged. Activating 
sonar pulse to assist you. I'm engaging hostile infantry. Here we go. Welcome back, Cooper. Recommend we secure this area before proceeding with the repairs. I didn't really shoot anything yet. I'll never forget a Titan's machine gun is literally a 20 millimeter cannon, so. All threats eliminated. Area secure. Are you okay, pilot? Hell yeah. What a hot streak. Your vitals do not indicate a temperature problem. Do you wish for me to investigate this hot streak sensation further? Funny, BT. You're funny. Apparently. <laughs> Smart ass. Protocol 2 mission update. Replace the uplink module. The socket for the module is at the top of this dish. A throw combined with additional climbing is required. Nice one. killing your mercs and it looks like one of our radios has been nicked i knew you shouldn't have hired those tossers <laughs> oi pilot this is cuban blisk you've been listening to us eh you want to be a hero yeah okay keep coming at me keep coming but if i were you i'd stop trying so hard to be a hero you'll live longer Here we go. Skeet shooting! Hypothesis. The dish will automatically reorient itself once the new module is installed. Oh man, if I'd been a developer, I would have put a helmet up here. Oh well.
Let's be real, that would have ripped my arm off. Cooper, the dish is back online. Get back here and we'll send this message to the fleet. Outstanding work. Oh, he caught my torso. and destroy their pilot, then execute the remaining militia troops. Reapers inbound. Militia forces, lock down the control room. Threats detected. Copy that, locking down. Next. Caution. Anomaly detected. Possible hostile Titan. IMC ground squads. I'm looking for someone to promote. I'm also looking for someone to kill. You get to choose which one you wish to be. On the end spark in Looks like you took a wrong turn, Algo. Did I now? Oh, hello. See what you got up close and personal. Order us to back life, me kleiner Junge. No sprick is it Deutsch. Wanna see a magic trick? Good. Good. Seven two seven four. Protocol two. Uphold the mission. Report intel to the fleet attached to the SRS unit. Solid copy. Good to hear you guys are still down there. We're receiving your data now. BT seven two seven four. Your data recorder says your original pilot was KIA. Correct. Captain Ty Lastimosa was killed in action. I am now linked to an acting pilot, Rifleman Jack Cooper. Wait a minute. Lastimosa linked you to a rifleman? <laughs> yes. He had no other options. Understood. We'll get you transferred to a fully qualified pilot. Objection. Cooper is my pilot. Our combat effectiveness rating now exceeds 90%. Request permission to retain this link. You're lucky our backs are up against the wall, BT. Permission granted. Let's 
High praise coming from a machine, Cooper. Thanks to your scan data of the Ark, we've tracked its energy signature to an IMC base right here on Typhon. We don't have much time. Let's go. We've rejoined what's left of the 9th Militia Fleet. Commander Sarah Briggs is leading a mission to capture the Fold's weapon, the Fold weapon's power source, known as the Ark. The Ark scan data I got from the frozen explosion finally paid off. It allowed us to track the Ark's present day location. It's right here on Typhon, at an IMC airbase awaiting transport. We're about to hit that airbase with every Titan we can muster. She said the thing! Let's roll. See how you like this. Turn your back on me. Ready. Want to see a magic trick? Good. Titans up ahead. Elk 4, Stork 
Rip him. To get to that ship before it takes off. Take those Titans out, pilot. Move it, pilot. Move it. You've come to the right place to die, Felicia. First floor activated. Bzzz. I'll tell you more of a run. Good takedown, pilot. Let's keep moving. Watch out, we've got more company. Let's try out the shotgun and the sword. What does the sword core do? Electrifies broadsword, empowering attacks, and sword block. Okay, got it. I'm literally right go. behind you. Get Calm ready, down. Pilot. Going up. That was the easy part. <laughs> the easy part cost us like 80% of our strike force. Well, you're doing a good job, Cooper. As far as I'm concerned, you've earned your pilot certification. Now let's finish this thing and get home. Ooh. There she is. We still have time to intercept the Ark. Move! Move! Incoming hostiles! We got IMC coming up from the east! <laughs> Right in your junk. Bye bye.
One, two, three. Alright, enough of this. Okay, that's my kill, but I'm going to let you claim it. That was close. This is slow. The Ark is headed your way. I'll let Viper take it from here. See you soon. Get to a ship. We're going after him. Yes, ma'am. The Draconis is making a beeline for the full-scale fold weapon with the Ark on board. We're going after it using some commandeered IMC transport. These widows are fast, but so is the Draconis. Sarah says it's not over yet. This fight's about to get go airborne. By the way, if anyone here plays Apex, you're about to meet one of the characters, uh, uh one of the characters' fathers. We're also gonna kill him. This is a rocket launcher. This is Commander Briggs. We have to recover the Ark. The IMC are taking it to the fold weapon on board the Draconis. All ships, flank speed. We have to hit them hard and fast. Briggs out. Copy that, 6 4 over run. Woo! Here we come! This is Captain Diaz of the Braxton. We'll provide a support platform. Enemy squadron in sight. Lock Archer. We've got the drop on them. 
transport. Just burn past it. We have to catch the Draconis. I got an unidentified bogey at 11 o'clock. What the hell is that? Anyone got a clear visual? Airborne bogey acquired. Crazy son of a bitch! Parker, nice of you to show up. You're welcome. Battleship Monza at 10 o'clock, guarding the Draconis. We can't get past it. Cooper, I need a pilot on board the Malta to secure the deck now. Commander Briggs, this is Blackbird 6-4. We can get in there. BT, we need a fastball. Copy that, 6-4. You can do this, Cooper. Just like before. Not exactly. There are significantly more variables to throwing between two moving platforms. Good luck. Woo! Welcome to the 6th floor, Coop. Cooper, listen up. We can't take you directly to the bridge. We'll never get past those guns. We'll drop you off at the stern, and you'll have to work your way forward. Contact left. Cooper, I'm gonna get as close as I can without crashing. Time your jump. Now, go! Did they just walk off the edge? Ow! Maybe not. Whoa! Dick robots? Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Mastiff?
aboard. There are still anti-air cannons active on the deck of the Malta. Now, I don't know which one of them it is, but one of these guys... I don't know if it's Davis, Draws, or Gates, but one of these three is, uh, one of these three is a relative to an Apex champion. Again, don't know which one. Good covering fire. We got your back. Commander Briggs, we'll also need your help. Copy that, Fair. On my way. The bridge is through that hangar over there. Any ideas? Briggs here. What do you need me to do? Close the door and keep her steady. He's not thinking. No, oh, no, wait a second. Follow me. I love this joke. But it's never boring. Just move your ass, Davis. Ah. Not close enough. I love this joke. Well, it's never boring. Just move your ass, Davis. We got the drop. my target. Yes, ma'am. Get BT back to Cooper. You got it. On my way. Hold on, Tin Man. All call signs. Clean up hostiles and rendezvous with the Draconis. This is it. He's a Titan, Cooper. I'm done babysitting. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Ready to transfer control to pilot. Cooper will cover you from the rear. Take the deck and get to the Draconis. Voodoo One, Viper's on station. Your journey ends here, pilot. The skies belong to me. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Tally, engaging bandit.
Our reactor is unstable. Replacement battery required. Warning. Battery essential. Yeesh. He's no joke. Don't need to. Hey, asshole. Wanna see a magic trick? Also, before anyone asks, if you're wondering why he wasn't panicking while he's crashing, it's in the real world, military pilots are trained at all, are basically drilled and drilled and drilled to remain calm at all times. Granted, it's not always going to happen, but the reason he's not panicking is because if he panics, he won't be able to get control of the, of the Titan. So in real life, pilots, helicopter pilots, anything, or fighter pilots are trained to stay calm and keep themselves in check trying to figure everything out. It's why if you've ever like listened to combat footage or if you watch play any good military games, whenever a helicopter is hit, you hear them basically, for example, they're not screaming their lungs out. It's like, Viper 1, going down. Repeat, Viper 1, going down. We are going down. Because they have to stay calm. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Adjusting for wind resistance. Calculating. Fuck you. BT, you okay? Left arm severed. However, I am still operational. This ship is rapidly losing altitude. It is up to us, Cooper. Down here.
approaching the Ark's containment unit. The containment unit is too large to carry. We must improvise. My eyes! Quickly, we need to get off the ship. We are running out of time. This way, Cooper. Ah, crap. I don't appear to be wearing handcuffs. Lisk, your problems are not my concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. I'll get you your precious cargo, you useless nap. Oi, Titan, you're gonna open up and give me what I want. Voice command, not recognized. Let me just rip it out of him. Can't risk it. The arc's unstable. Listen, hero. You have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your titan to open up. About what? His feelings? <sighs> Still trying to be a hero, eh? I have a lot of dodge riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your titan, if he doesn't open up, I will. Shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ocular systems. Marginal. Cannot visually acquire pilot. Stand him up. Do you see him now? Right here. Right here. Yeah? You see him now? Functions. Compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down. Some things, some things still work in there. Now open up, and I'm going to shoot your pilot in the head. You still remember numbers, don't you? I'm going to count to three. One. That's the problem with teams. If you don't win together, you die together. Your ass is mine. Okay. 
survive, evade, resist, escape. This is one of the coolest moments in the game where you get to use the smart pistol. Yeah, it's basically legal aimbot. Basically. Supposed to be some helmets around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand by for Titanfall. FS one zero four one. Okay, what about the ID? FS one zero four one. It's about to be BT. Back in one piece, BT. Over 25,000, actually. BT 7274 online and ready for combat. And he's got a mini gun. It's time to complete our mission. Cooper. Behold, the Predator Cannon. It is a chain gun. Now, the cool thing about it is that basically, there it has two modes. Uh, close range, which is basically a bunch of scatter rounds, and then long range precision. It also has a power shot, depending on what the mode is. 
I'm throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to stop the fold weapon. I need you to get inside its control room. Commander Briggs to all battle stations. I want close fire support on Cooper and BT. Do whatever it takes to cover them. Solid copy. We'll go. Cooper, get up that hill. We'll cover you. Move! Enemy fighting down. See you like this. So you say. Why? Why would you stick your head out? I've got a minigun! Cooper, we're tracking Blisk and Sloan just ahead. They have the Ark. Keep moving. We must stop the IMC from using the full weapon at all costs. If we fail, the militia planet of Harmony will be destroyed. Squish time. Oh, I can't because I'm crouching. Oh, well. Initiating preliminary fold weapon power systems. 
powering up targeting responders. Set location to the militia planet Harmony. Initiating targeting systems. Harmony. Coordinates 264.588 recorded. Whoa! Don't step on the Marvins. Okay, well. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. Knock, knock. You have your money, Blisk. Now go. My forces will take over from here. That time they do something. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's all yours. Keep the salvage. Who said anything about salvage? Oh. I'll do this one for free. Oh, the fun's just begun. Smart core ready. All right, you know how to hit. Gonna need to do more than that, though. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. I'm stuck! What the hell? Oh, I got stuck under the gun. Man. Ah. Bullshit. Maybe not, but, uh, question. Can you outrun this? Didn't plan on it. Just 
Reaching a lethal threshold. All personnel must clear the chamber immediately. Disruption of electromechanical units, including Titans, will be severe. Enemy Titan down. Cooper, get the Ark out of there before it launches. Hurry! Full weapon priming sequence complete. Deploying the Ark. Ow! Going to kill you. I don't work for free. But you don't get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Liz, that Vanguard class Titan is still in there. Not my problem, Marta. Should have put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. And that right there. The Apex card, for those who don't know, to become a member of the Apex Legends and play in those games, you have to get an entry card. That's an entry card. So, this was basically Respawn's way of saying, in their own way, yeah, this is our new game coming out, but this is also a lot of fans' belief that Jack Cooper will eventually be a character in Apex, because he's got a card. Come on. Cooper, I require your assistance. My auto navigation systems are offline. To get me into that injector assembly. We must do this together. Hey, Pilot Wolfie, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. Commander Briggs, I believe I have a solution. In its exposed state, my reactor core may be able to destabilize the arc at the center of the full weapon. Yeah. Well, we're not done. I'm still I'm probably gonna play some multiplayer, but yeah. Uh Pilot Wolfie, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. Welcome, Raiders. I'm Zaruk Windcaller, the guardian and high remembrancer of the forest. Hmm. Where every decision and every memory that could have come from that decision you didn't take enters into my forest and I watch over everything here. Uh, we're playing the Titanfall 2 story. We can blow it up. I'm sending you coordinates for a dropship rendezvous. Ship. Coordinates received. We'll be there, but I don't see how you can. Trust me, I have done the math. Come on. Sure as hell hope so. We're on our way. Good luck, both of you. Briggs out. Oh yeah, BT's yeet throwing is always great. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back, pilot. Oh, thank you for the follow, Pilot Wolfie. I appreciate it. Very much so. I hope you've uh, your stream went well. Protocol three. Protect the pilot. BT, what are you doing? Trust me. BT! BT. Cooper, we just lost BT signal. We're almost there. Cooper, I'm marking your hunt with the coordinates. The evac site might be in midair. There's nothing we can touch down on here. And if I'm flying through this shit show, you better be there on time, kid. Oh, crap. I'm tracking you. Keep going. Woo. Ah. 
Come on. Oh, jeez. The planet broke before the pilots did. Did I just accidentally a planet? The planet Cadia, M41, Warhammer 40k Galaxy. Pilot Cooper. A lot of people owe their lives to you. And to BT. Barker, set a course for Harmony. Take us home. You got it. The destruction of Typhon saved the planet Harmony. The militia calls this planet their headquarters. But millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Titan. After the techs wipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. This is Pilot Jack Cooper, signing off. And yeah, that is Titanfall 2's story. A lot of people complained that Titanfall 1's story was too short and that, well, it didn't even have a story. And Respawn went above and beyond with Titanfall 2's story. Not only was it such a huge jump above what Titanfall 1 did, we got characters like Cooper and BT, who we immediately fell in love with. It was great. Problem is, well, Titanfall 2 came out sandwiched between other big releases, so it kind of got overshadowed. Not that it matters. Respawn is still around. Apex Legends is still very successful. And little by little, Apex goes on to continue to win the Battle Royale thing. Sure, Fortnite's still up there, but for example... Warzone has been losing fans every month, and they're all going to Apex. And honestly, I, after playing Titanfall 2 Story, I realize why. The movement, the gunplay, everything feels good. Yeah, there are a lot of people saying they owe their lives to me. They're wrong. Their lives were saved by so many others. All the men and women of the Ninth Fleet who died fighting on Typhon, and a Vanguard-class Titan to whom I owe my life. They are the true heroes of the Battle of Typhon. Here's to you, BT. Wherever the militia sends me next, I won't let you down. Trust me. So yeah, that's basically the game. Uh, we're not going to sit through the credits. Uh... Let's see. So, I think I'm going to do some PvE by myself. I just don't know what PvE mode is. I mean, I guess it's Frontier Defense. Nah, it's cool, Claire. I want to do it by myself. Um, what's disappointing is that they don't have the standard assault rifle, do they? That's kind of lame. Or is the Monarch the one with the assault rifle? No, it's not. No, that's lame. Oh, God. Hey there, pilots, and welcome to Titanfall 2. We hope you're enjoying everything that Titanfall 2 has to offer, because now we're adding something extra to your wall running routines. Jump successful! Now it's your time to shine! Woo! You said it, brother!
Former 6-4 pilots Davis and Droz have hired you for their elite team of pilots called the Last Resort. Hey there, pilots, and welcome so to Titanfall 2. Pilots, we hope you're enjoying everything that Titanfall 2 has What's to offer. What's the harvester harvesting you get ask? Get off my... Well Thank God. That's annoying. So let me get this straight. Rather than making an in-game tutorial video, no, no, no. If someone wants to watch the tutorial, they have to open a YouTube link? That's stupid. Good God, that's stupid. That is really dumb, guys. Come on now. Yeah, well, there is no Valkyrie. I'm gonna play North Star. Let's see. What? Connection to the server? The hell are you talking about? I literally just logged in. Actually, you know what? Now nah, go with tone. I like it better anyway. Yeah, we don't need to see that. All right. First time, so... Oh, what? Why? Connection to server time... Why? I haven't even done anything. Yeah, Vanguard has the rifle, but the Vanguard class isn't playable, I don't think. Actually, upon retrospect, considering I'm streaming, that's probably not a good idea. Let me think. What else can I do? Because the problem is, if I'm streaming and people are also on their mics, I don't want... You know, it's a multiplayer game. I don't want... <laughs> I don't want, you know... Uh, <laughs> you know, choice language getting said, or racism coming out, and me getting banned. So... Turn off the chat, it's a good idea. I'm just hoping it works. Might as well see if we can get it to work. There we go. Ah, so much to work with. That was quick. Jeez. Your Titans ready. All right, team. We've got the harvester online. That's right. And all you wonderful pirates get to protect it from the remnant fleet. Ready or not? Move out. Heads up, team. There's a new wave dropping in. So keep your heads up. I already said that, Davis. Double the advice. Oh, I hate the voice.
Apex. Team. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Come on, let me out. Good news, team. Harvester shields are back online. Let's finish. Harvester shields are dropping. Focus up, team. Take out whatever's damaging it. Oh, well. Uh, oops. Found. Show love 100 high Zaruk W smile. New Titans and cloak drones inbound. No big deal. Just possible cloak Titans who rush in and detonate, killing everything around them. Good luck, team. Ah, so that's how it works. Cool. Got it. Yeah, someone's bought all the turrets. Weenie, weedy, weeky. Nuke Titans headed your way, team. Take him out.
Yeah, we're done. Clara, I know how to play the game. Appreciate it, though. Last time wasn't the best, but I bet you guys will get him now. You'd be crazy to bet against this team. They got this. Good luck down there. Let's try that again. Davis? Resetting the harvester beam. You are good to go, team. Ready for deployment. Stand by for time. Final wave. Gonna ride it to the very end. Engaging guard mode. Understood. Guard mode activated. Tracking hostiles. Titans headed your way, team. Take him out. Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Out. Get me in there. Get me in there. Harvester shields are dropping. Get me in there. Thank you. Let's go. Really? A spin now? Are you serious? Fine. There, you happy? Damn, come on. Still coming. Get off. Throws. Is this pilot's time ready yet? Almost. Oh shit. Titanfall. I can do better than that. Stand by for Titanfall. Woo! Follow up. Engaging 
This nuclear ejection thing's kind of bullshit if you get stuck. Nice. That was pretty good. I'm pretty good with an with a charge rifle. Who would have thought? Anyway. I think that's going to do it for now. Yeah, I know this was a short stream, but hey, I just wanted to give the multiplayer a try. And again, we finished the story. So, yeah. That was actually pretty cool. So, um, announcements before we go. One. Hmm. I start my new job, well, training for my new job anyway. I start my new job on Friday. Now, if everything goes according to plan, streams will continue. However, here's the thing. The training is almost like going back to school. It's from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a bunch of stuff that I have to do during that. With that in mind, and the fact that I have class, you know, a week, two weekly classes that I have to attend at a, you know, for a certificate that I'm working on, on Wednesday nights and, you know, uh, well, yeah, I got to go to the campus on Wednesday nights. With that in mind, um, be advised that the schedule may change. Who knows? If things get really rough, I may take a week or two off. Who knows? I'm going to do my best, but, you know, we will see how it all pans out. So, with that in mind, uh, we're not going to raid anyone tonight. This was really fun. I'm hoping you all enjoyed it. Uh, that's Titanfall 2. Tomorrow, as always, we're back to Tank Mechanic Simulator. And then, mm, with that out of the way, I think what we're going to start doing on Tuesday is, how do y'all feel about Yakuza? Yakuza 0 was on sale. So, how would you guys like it if every Tuesday now we do Yakuza? How's that sound? So, yeah. Um, oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Niles do... Yeah, I forgot. Niles doing Titanfall 2. We're going to go raid Nile then. That's a good idea. So, um, but with that in mind, I hope you all had fun tonight. Um, let's see. I forgot Nile was doing a, uh, was doing something like that tonight. Hmm. All right. 
Well, for this raid, of course it's an Embray, but I also want to see, I want to see a Protocol 3 Protect the Pilot raid. So just spam Protocol 3 Protect the Pilot. Anyway, with that in mind, we'll start this raid. Mm. I've been Zaruk Windcaller. It's been my honor and privilege to entertain you. And remember, the memories we make in life, good and bad, make us who we are. Don't change them for anything. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.